Okay. So it should slash marker here. Slash marker. Dulls. All right, we are back playing the dulls. I don't think I've gotten a single tradle this week. Um, which has me very concerned with $270 million. <laughs> Special purpose ships. Just the honest question, what the hell is Copra? Isn't this like dinosaur poop? Mollusks, fish fillet, and ships. I mean, 270 mil is really low. I would be thinking like an island in the Pacific. And I'm not talking about Australia. I'm talking about Tuvalu. We are very close. I'm talking about Vanuatu. I got it. I got I'm cracked. <laughs> Who would have thought that if we got one tradle this week, it would be Vanuatu. And I was like, I was trying to think what comes after that. Solomon Islands, American Samoa. We know it's not Wallace and Fortuna. Oh, man. It's not going to be Fiji because Fiji has like a... $10 billion of water exports every year. New Line Cinema, August 2000. I was so tempted to just type Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me. But anyway, I don't think it is. But I think this DreamWorks movie is probably Shrek. Wrong. Let me get... I mean, it made a lot of money. A decent amount of money for 2000 Let me get the actor. Harrison Ford, DreamWorks. I don't even need the genre. We know what it's going to be. Let me get a tagline. He was the perfect husband until his one mistake followed them home. I don't know what that is. It's not a DreamWorks not animated movie. Is this um, um, What Lies Beneath? Starring Harrison Ford and Michelle Pfeiffer? It is. Okay. I didn't know DreamWorks made um, non-animated movies. How do, you, how do you know what lies beneath? Bro, I was in the fifth or the sixth grade, and Michelle Pfeiffer's a baddie. What, you're going to judge me? That's 23 years ago. you never been down bad? You never watched Batman Returns on TBS circa 2005? At the movie theater? Bro, I didn't see this at the movie theater. It's a horror movie. I was 12 years old. I would have crapped my pants. Warner Brothers, $23 million. It's probably a comedy. Sports comedy from the year 2000, starring Keanu Reeves. This is, this is weird for me, because it's not um, Hardball. Because I remember Hardball opened the weekend after 9-11. And my parents, I mean, like everybody else in the world, we were watching CNN like 22 hours a day. And I remember they trotted out like the movie analyst and they were like, what do you think the effect of 9-11 is going to be on the box office? And then um, they were like, we think Hardball is going to crush it this week because people need the smile. That for, for whatever reason, that moment lives rent free in my head. Tagline. Throw the ball, catch the girl, keep it simple. Actor two. Gene. Oh, Gene Hackman, The Replacements. The Replacements, Big Weekend at the Multiplex, did pretty well here. What is a win in box office game? Is that getting all five? We've only done it eight times. That's tough. How are one third of people better than that? Chad GPT. I had Chad GPT cheat in Wordle for me and you won't re believe the results thread emoji. I should just mute the thread emoji on, on Twitter. That would save me so much grief. Hang on, I'm just waiting for the advertisement. Okay, there we go. Dark Souls 2. Third person, more recent. Destin Is Destiny third person? Oh, <laughs> It's first person and third person. Okay. Okay. What the fuck? Destiny is always like my go-to guess when it's a third person game that's relatively recent. 
I always, and if it's first person and relatively recent, I always go like Borderlands. And then usually I just guess um, Super Mario All-Stars 10 times if those don't work out. But it's first person. Apparently it's also third person. I don't know what to tell you.